hi guys welcome back so i have a new scent i'm filming back to back i had to change my white top because i was starting to sweat a bit so this is the new chloe i've had this for a couple of weeks now i've always put it on the back banner which is really not good so i was like i'm gonna share my thoughts today and i know i'm late to the game i'm always i is so last year they released the uh glowing nemad i enjoyed that scent but i did not use it that much it was more it was nice but forgettable so i was like i'm still gonna get this because i love it i love the brand although the natural glowy natural line it gives me the creeps because <laughs> i never understood it but this new flanker that they released i've been wearing it and when you first in at the first sniff you get this sweet spicy mm. meh you get this meh so yeah it has the top notes of the meh the cinnamon and the ginger i definitely get this my spiciness there very nice opening very pleasant the ginger mixes well there fresh warm spicy it is very su sweet well sweet enough but sweet in a soft way kind of like candish a pretty pretty scent definitely a summer scent i do get a little bit of honey as uh, from that broom i think that it's because uh in the heart it has orange blossom the kaifi and the broom and in the base it has the vanilla the opoponax and the cypress oil definitely a warm amber scent uh like it as it dries down it becomes a bit floral and the vanilla becomes more apparent and a healing i like it i like it a lot i think it is a crowd pleaser some nuttiness there and the most important thing that i realized with this flanker is that it has no relationship with the previous flankers i do not get any dna of the previous fl fl flankers which is what i was trying to say that if you are going to release something even if it's a flanker give us something a bit different do you know what i'm saying so that at least some of us will enjoy because this is good this is really really good because i don't feel like i have two same sense do you know what i mean it's not boring at all it has this like moderate projection i cannot complain about it and the longevity is okay however like it is not great because within four hours for me it turned into a skin scent but like i could i could still get some freshness uh to it uh from it and a little bit of vanilla from there so yeah tell me what you guys think i really think it is a decent release is it great no but it is something different from uh chloe and i love the fact that i don't get any dna's of the origin of the other flankers that they've released uh in the past so for that i give you a solid six out of ten i want to include this scent here uh from sol de Gennaro. Uh, is it Chiorosa 59? I have had this for quite a minute now. I also have been wearing it. Um, I wore it, but I forget about it. Like, I, wow. Oh, wow. Wow, that was an accident, but the combination of that, wow. Mm. That was, that was an accident. So I'm going to wear these two together. Let's, wowzers. It's beautiful oh it's so sexy it's so sweet oh that violet in here is really really stunning so that was an accident layering and i just enjoyed that 
I'm just gonna do it again uh, for the whole day. Let's see how it goes and I'll update you guys. So I've had this for quite a few weeks now. Pretty much the same time as the uh, YSL Black Opium Over Red. But I never really... There's something about Sol, Sol de Genero Mist. I don't hate them. I don't love them either. I don't care for... <laughs> No, that's a bit that's a bit stupid things to say, but yeah. So when I saw that this is new, I was like, okay, from now onwards, they re they just released another red one. I don't know what it's called. I'm just gonna try it as well and see. So this one, uh, apparently, it has the notes, the top notes of the vanilla, sugar, and violet in the heart, and in the base it has some wow that mixture of, with glowy guys with the uh chloe nut egypt it's stunning if you have both of them please do wear them together and let me know what you guys think wow i actually love them so the opening of this is on its own i was like you don't make any sense to me like you're just weird i don't know or it does not know whether it's coming or going um i just it's heavy on the violet very heavy on the violet it starts becoming soft as it dries down i don't really care for this for 22 pounds it's a no from me i get this sweet vanilla uh, mixed with sugar that really does not last though at all in the base it gets woody with that thunder wood and um not good <laughs> warm and simple like i'm not understanding the hype um from this i'm not please help me out but with this mixture the mixture i'm i'm just gonna make it work with um chloe i'm just gonna make it work i never i don't i don't understand but i know that uh if you are a sol de Gennaro fan you're probably gonna like this uh because i know that on one of the advent calendars I received, I got the yellow one, and I do get some DNA of that uh, that mist that I had, which I gave it to my sister. Let me know what you guys think. I know that is, this has been quite out for quite a while now. I need to get the body butter for it. I read somewhere that it brings spiders. Um, <laughs> you all could be weird sometimes. We all could be weird sometimes. We say weird shit, like for real now. Like, come on, it brings spiders where? <laughs> but anyway, it's all for the fun. It's all for the jokes. But yeah, I don't quite understand it. But... I think I will make it work uh, with the this new scent from Chloe, and there are some scents that are uh, uh, have some similar notes to Chloe, and I will make them work with this one so that because when you when I wore it on its own, so I'm gonna stop right there. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. Those are my thoughts on the new scents uh, that I've had for quite a long time now, but I've been putting them in the back banner. So I'm just gonna so that I can film this one, the new Lancome Extraordinary uh, scent, because I've been wearing this for a couple uh, a couple of weeks now as well. So yeah, thank you so much. I'll see you guys on my next video, which is this one. Bye for now.